Steel is fundamental to our lives. It's used in our cities, cars, homes and beyond. But producing steel contributes around 8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. To meet climate objectives, we need to find more sustainable ways to produce this essential material. As one of the world's largest iron ore producers, we want to support the decarbonisation of the steel industry. We're exploring three pathways to do this. Lowering the carbon impact of existing blast furnace technologies. Speeding up emerging technologies for our high-grade iron ores. And researching innovative low carbon dioxide technologies for low to medium grade iron ores. One of our most promising options is bio-iron. Traditionally, iron ore and coking coal are processed and charged into a blast furnace. Hot air at around 1200 degrees Celsius is blown in and the coke reacts with the iron ore to make pig iron. This step alone emits around two tonnes of carbon dioxide per tonne of steel output. But bio-iron uses raw biomass like agricultural waste as a reductant instead of coal. And microwaves powered by electricity to reach the temperatures needed to turn the ore into metallic iron. The biomass provides most of the energy needed, so the bio-iron process uses less than a third of the electricity needed by other new technologies using hydrogen. Bio-iron still releases carbon dioxide, however by using fast-growing plants, these emissions are offset by the carbon dioxide absorbed during photosynthesis when the plants regrow. We know we need to consider how we produce, transport and use biomass too. So we're researching and studying biomass certification processes. As a first step, we've ruled out any sources that support logging old growth and high conservation value forests. To make bio-iron, we blend fine iron ore and fine biomass with fluxes and feed it into a high pressure machine to produce golf ball sized briquettes. We then layer them on a high temperature conveyor belt where biomass pyrolysis gases combust with air to heat the briquettes. Then in the microwave section of the furnace the briquettes absorb the microwave energy like a sponge turning into highly metallized direct reduced iron. These microwaves heat the whole bed depth which is a unique and efficient feature not achieved today in the industry. An electric melter then separates impurities from the hot metal which can either be fed into a basic oxygen furnace on site or cast into pigs and transported to remote steelworks. Bio-iron could help reduce carbon emissions across the steel industry using our Pilbara iron ores with new sustainable technologies. We're working to develop a bio-iron pilot plant and further scale operations in future. It's one of the pathways to finding better ways to sustainable steel